Welcome or welcome back to A Life of Delusion. On this channel, we're talking about self-development, leveling up, creating and curating your dream life. So I'm, I'm very pleased. <laughs> I'm excited you're here. Um, this video, we're talking about how to build a morning routine, a good morning routine, uh, which I think is so vital to being successful. The morning is the first part of your day and it really will kind of lay out how the rest of your day is going to go for the most part. Uh, so I have this video broken down into two parts. The first part is going to be kind of how to construct it. And then in the second part, I'll walk you through what my typical morning is like. Constructing it, it's going to have, constructing a solid morning routine is going to have three main parts. The, the components are going to be timing, tasks, and consistency. So let's jump into the components of it. So first you need to be realistic about how much time you have in the morning. Um, this is going to affect, be affected by when you wake up to when you have to kind of get started with, with, with your, your work or whatever else you have school, what you have to do during that day um, and planning around that. So if you know right now, I like to kind of start where you are, not try to introduce a new plan until you be become more intentional about the plan and the time you have now. So say now you have between seven and nine to do whatever you need to do for yourself. Um, start being intentional about the things you do in the morning. So, you know, you wake up, you go to the bathroom, brush your teeth, whatever, get dressed, have breakfast. Really think about the time you put into that. It takes you 15 or so minutes to wake up, bathroom, brush, you know, grooming, whatever, and get dressed. Okay, now you know that takes about 15 minutes. Say you uh, make your breakfast from scratch every day and eat it and that takes 45 minutes. And then you have to get your work bag together and blah, blah, blah. That takes 15 minutes. So now you know you have this, um, this amount of time it's, it's taking you to get ready right now. What do you want to do with that? Do you want to make that faster? Do you want to start incorporating more things into it? So just start thinking about that first. I think really here, just focus on timing, how much time you have and are you Think about how your mornings are going so far. Are you rushing through? Are you finding yourself snoozing? Are you forgetting things? You get, you know, get where you're going like, oh no, I left my lunch. Oh no, you know, that kind of thing. Think about how your morning feels as far as your time goes. Um, for the second component, the tasks you have um, set out in the morning, what are the non-negotiables? What are the things you're gonna do every single morning? You know, are you making your breakfast from scratch every morning? Are you putting your lunch together? Are you packing your work bag every single morning? Um, and I think the key here is to see which things you can move to the evening, because that's kind of when you start preparing for the next day. I do at least. Uh, can you make sure, can you check your, or get your work bag packed up the night before? Can you prep your lunch the night before? Can you prep your breakfast the night before? Can you pick out your outfits the night before? That kind of thing. So looking at what you can move from the morning because I don't think it's in your best interest to be stressed out first thing in the morning or rushing around first thing in the morning. I found so much peace in just having a plan and expectation when I wake up. I literally hop out of the bed. I'm not, you know, I, sometimes and I'm super tired, which is rare. It's normally after I've completed kind of my workouts for the week and I'm, my body's just tired. but. Typically, I hop, out of, I hop out of the bed with a smile on my face every day, and it's not by accident, <laughs> you know? Uh, it's because I, I don't have any pressure. I don't have any pressure first thing in the morning of, um, you know, what am, what am I about to do? What's going on today? Store today, and what's, uh, you know, who's going to get on my nerves? I don't have to have any, anything about that because I've decided what kind of day I'm having. So I know, um, I know what my day is gonna look like before it before it starts. I know my day is gonna look like days in advance. Um, so yeah, think about what you want to get done and combine that with how long each task takes and see if that really realistically makes sense. Because if you have um, two hours worth of tasks, but you only give yourself an hour and a half each day, that means you're gonna be pressing, pressing, pressing. So that means either A, you need to be more efficient, B, you need to give yourself more time, or C, you need to cut some things out of your morning routine and like I said, move them to the night before. Because packing your bag, packing your lunch, and making your breakfast, that can be 45 minutes worth of tasks you can be doing the night before instead of trying to hustle and do it in the morning. Um, third is to, uh, is, is consistency. Um, this is about editing 
revising, reworking your routine. Again, I'm harping on seeing what you can do the night before, seeing what makes the most sense as far as your order goes. Does it make more sense to get dressed last? Do you find yourself, you, okay, you get dressed first and then you spill your coffee on your shirt. You gotta change your shirt. That's, that's time. <laughs> that's time and that's laundry. Um, so you're creating more work for yourself down the line, for your future self. So maybe it makes more sense to put your coffee on and then put it in your thermos and then top it off, you know, before you leave, something like that. Or eat before you get dressed or, uh, you know, brush your teeth before you get dressed. Um, what else? If you find yourself always forgetting things all the time, like I said, put, put those things in place. Because a lot of, for me, it's, a lot of the things are kind of automatic for me now. I know I wake up, I go to the bathroom, I do this. And then, actually, I'm going to get into my schedule next. But um, I think getting into habits, essentially. I know my body just kind of walks through the process. I know what I'm supposed to be doing when. I have timers, I had a video about that. Um, tools, free tools that help me um, build a better, uh, a better routine, a better schedule. Um, I know when my 5.30 timer goes off, what I'm, what I'm headed to next. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to rearrange the order. Try and try and try until you find that sweet, sweet schedule, uh, you know, sweet spot. <laughs> and like I said, find a sweet spot. Don't, you don't feel like you have to keep changing your schedule. You have to keep making it more and more efficient. There's a, there's a cap on how efficient you can be with something. It's only two hours of, you know, of your day. There's only so much reworking you can do to make it more efficient. So now we're gonna get into what my morning schedule looks like typically. So um, I get up at 5.05, that's how my, my alarm is. Wake up and smile. I'm, I'm looking at my schedule here, so that's why I'm glancing down. Um, I wake up and smile at 5.05. Um, I decide what, what my like sound vibes and my music are for the morning. Sometimes I want you know something a little more lively. Sometimes I want some lo-fi. Sometimes I want some jazz. Um, Sometimes I'll, I'll hop right into a podcast. If I'm feeling super like alert early in the morning. I'm ready to start learning. I'll do a podcast, but, but not often. Sometimes I just want to just chill and listen to some music. Um, so I do do that. Um, sip some water. Have my bathroom break, my first bathroom break, and just kind of get oriented and you know fully wake up. Um, yeah, sip some water. And then I'll get into uh, making my coffee and my gym um, fluids. Then I'm getting dressed. Um, that takes me to about 5.20. So I do all that in about the first 15, 10 to 15 minutes. And then I start getting dressed about 5.20. I have my clothes out the night before, my gym clothes out the night before. So I don't even have to think about that in the morning. I already know what I'm gonna wear. Um, I go to my second bathroom break where I put in my contacts. Um, I'll, uh, that's when I brush my teeth after I have my coffee. Um, and then between that, after I get dressed, I do my supplies check, make sure I have everything I need for the gym. Um, I forgot my water one day. I just, like I knew, I knew because I had the routine going. I was like, I'm missing something. I had something else in my hand, I think, because I normally have, sometimes I'll have my coffee if I haven't finished it. And then I'll have my, my uh, thermos. And I was like, I'm missing something, but I couldn't, that morning I just couldn't remember. Um, so I'll check out my supplies, and then I go to the gym. That takes about two hours from door to door. Um, then I do the sauna for about 35, from about 30 to 45 minutes. And then, um, so that takes me to about 8.30. Well, I get back from the gym about 7.45, give like a 15 minute buffer, um, getting ready, getting the sauna warmed up and all that. And I'm in the sauna for about, no, about 35 minutes daily. So I, I, sometimes I wanna stay longer, sometimes that's enough. Uh, then I read, typically my, typically I'll say nine times out of 10 is gonna be a novel for 15 to 20 minutes a day, just to get my creativity and just get, you know, some, some interest, <laughs> some interest going on in the day. Um, after that, I come back, shower, breakfast if I'm hungry. Typically I've been eating, I've been um, getting back into intermittent fasting, so I'm eating a little later to start. Um, even, I need to figure out, this is a side tangent, I need to figure out how to get my gym vibe like I need some energy in the morning but I don't necessarily want to break my fast that early but I have more often than not a latte before I go to the gym so the milk and the uh, honey will break the fast so I need to figure out some kind of way around that um 
But yeah, come back, shower, breakfast, chore, work, you know, whatever the day entails from there. Um, but I pretty much do the same thing every day. I go, to, um, I cut my gym schedule down. I, it went from nothing to everything. And now I have, and I kind of settled back in on the middle grass. So I go five days a week now. Um, so on the days I don't go, I do allow myself to sleep in a little bit because typically I'm tired. I've earned it. I go hard in the paint. <laughs> I go hard in the paint. So um, a couple mornings a week I sleep in. Um, on the weekends too, I sleep a little later because I don't go to the gym till a little later. But no matter what time I get up, uh, it's typically one, two, three, you know, all of the steps. And um, it just takes a load off. It takes a big load off of, instead of having to make a million decisions first thing in the morning and then I'm burnt out by noon, it's no good. And now I'm, you know, then you be get home and you be screaming at your kids and your husband because you're mad because you, you had to start making decisions. You're making decisions for 12 hours already. And they tell me, what are we, gonna, what are we having for dinner? I don't know, figure it out, you know? <laughs> so um, I think this is just essential to living a better life it is really having a plan for your day, a plan for yourself, a plan for your life. Um, so definitely give it a try, give it some thoughts. Um, leave a comment below if you have a morning routine. Let me lay out for me what your morning routine is and what that looks like. I'm really interested to know. I'm, I'm always looking for tips on how to improve it. If you have some recommendations for what I can use before I go to the gym that wouldn't break my fast, but will give me some energy, definitely leave the recommendations below. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much it. Think about your timing, think about, think about your tasks, and think about editing and your consistency with it. Um, I would say if you have a plan, give it like a week or so, see how it works and decide on changes from there. But definitely be intentional about what you're doing. Decide what you can put off the night before or put on the night before. Figure out what can go. Uh, oh, this is the main tip right here. Do not get on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> do not get on your phone to a set time. Do not get on Instagram. Do not get on Facebook. Do not get on anything until you're done with your routine. I, I intend, and I'm, I'm, I'm probably 80% um, disciplined with it. I don't get on anything until I leave the gym, and I can uh, kind of, uh, and I, and, you know, I don't even really do it then. But definitely not at least until I finish at the gym, because any time before that, I'm going to be late. Because next thing you know, you're in the bathroom on you know scrolling and scrolling and it's 15 minutes going by and i don't even allow I don't, I don't have that much time to waste in the morning um so stay off of your phone but that's it i want to wrap it up um that's how i build my morning routine it has done wonders for my life and my mental health <laughs> my stress levels just so many things um definitely let me know what you think in the comments um thank you for joining me here today like and subscribe um posting videos weekly on sundays um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.